Hey, what's up friends? Shout out to anybody who's sick at home right now. Boo. But we make the best of it, right? So I wanted to do an update on my cantaloupe grow. I'm done. Um, I've tried lots of different plants, you know, tomatoes, cucumbers, now cantaloupe, uh, peppers, medical plants. And my top two crops uh, preferred that I like to grow medical, number one, hands down by a mile. Number two, peppers. Uh, I love growing spicy peppers. Uh, you know, the I like the structures of the plant. I like how, uh, just how they grow and, um, you know, how they react in the garden. Uh, it's great. And, you know, it's all learning experience. Uh, you know, grow everything, see what you like, uh, see what works for you. Uh, but I'm going to take this grow down uh, and pop some, get some uh, spicy peppers going. And I have lots to choose from, so uh, we'll get into that on another video and we'll grow some of those indoors. Um, but I feel like I'm just not getting anywhere with this cantaloupe plant. But let me show you what's going on in the tent. And there's just a couple of things I wanted to talk about before I do take it The down. main thing I wanted to talk about was nutrient solution temperature. I get a lot of comments on growers that say you have to have a chiller and you can't grow uh, in a certain temperature, you know, that's above 70 degrees. But, you know, we have the heater down here in the tent. I keep the tent at 30 degrees Celsius. Um, and the nutrient solution is always somewhere between 74 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, a, a lot of people would say that's just too warm, it can't grow like that. But it's just not true. Um, you can, and yes, I'm not saying that it's ideal. Ideally, sure, you'd have you know 64 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit would be ideal. That's gonna give you the maximum amount of oxygen, and uh, that's going to make sure that your uh, your root mass does not get compromised but for me um, the way around that is using a couple products right um, number one is going sanitized and if I talk about it I have many videos I talk about it so go back and watch those but running a sanitized solution um, that protects you against uh, 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 Sorry, guys, I'm sick. My brain's not working. Um, from from not being sanitized from, uh, uh, you know, rot, uh, root rot or whatever. So running a sanitized solution. And then number two is running an enzyme product, right? Running an enzyme product like Hygrozyme. Right. If you're running an enzyme product like Hygrozyme, you're going to be able to run warmer temperatures because your root mass is not going to be compromised. So if you look at this, you know, this is, I'm not going to wait till it gets up. I just measured it before I started the video. It's like at 78 degrees. Um, and look at the root mass. It's great. Uh, it's, this is, this is, uh, this plant's month is months old and it looks great. What we're talking about with a product like Hygrozyme, which is the, the other reason why this root mass can make it in a solution that has less oxygen because it is warmer, um, but it doesn't get compromised, is the enzyme protects against rot from occurring. So this is a good example. If you were to take out your air stone uh, and you had some little chunks of roots that got crunched off, or let's say, you know, some other organics fall into there, right? And you see, I put a couple leaves in there. I made a different video. Um, the enzyme is going to consume those dead organic pieces, turning them into, um, you know, a, a usable product for the plant, but it's just not going to comp compromise your root mass Versus if you didn't use an enzyme product, these pieces that break off turn into rot, then eventually now you have uh, uh, rotting organics in your root mass that continue to grow and continue 
uh, down the path of to where you're going to have a compromised root mass and you may not make it to harvest. So that's it. Um, grow comfortably without a chiller. You're going to be fine. Um, but I really recommend using a sanitized, uh, sanitizing product and using a product like Hygrozyme, uh, getting those enzymes in there. They're going to get you to the finish line. And, um, you know, I've been doing this for years without a chiller and many, many, many growers do. And, you know, we have great harvests and we grow great quality. Um, so... Uh, happy holidays, everyone, and uh, well, I look forward to starting my pepper grow uh, just once I get this taken down. Peace.